Yellowstone is no longer a completely tranquil landscape. The ground is shifting, small earthquakes are occurring constantly, and Steamboat Geyser is erupting more frequently than ever. For decades, Yellowstone National Park has been known as a symbol of serene natural beauty. Vast plains, verdant forests, and regularly erupting geysers seem to be in harmony with the rhythms of nature. But in recent years, that tranquility has begun to be disturbed. Yellowstone's land is no longer completely tranquil. Scientists have recorded faster-than-usual ground level rise and subsidence, repeated small seismic activity, and steamboat geysers' incessant eruptions of unprecedented intensity. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, is now roaring more frequently, spewing hot water and steam tens of meters into the air. This phenomenon has sparked public concern about whether this activity indicates that the Yellowstone supervolcano is on the verge of a major collapse. Beneath Yellowstone lies a massive, complex magma system. This system is not a single body of magma, but rather a network of hot fluids, semi-molten rock, and high-pressure gases. As magma rises or as hot fluids shift, the land surface can rise or fall, a phenomenon known as ground deformation. These subtle changes are not random, but rather reflect the internal dynamics of a constantly evolving magmatic system. At depths of tens of kilometers, heat from the Earth's mantle maintains a reservoir of magma that remains largely solid, but very close to its melting point. This heat drives the intense circulation of hydrothermal fluids, carrying energy to shallower layers of the crust, and creating repetitive stresses that slowly lift or contract the overlying land surface. This interaction between magma, fluids, and rocks also plays a key role in Yellowstone's seismic activity. Frequent small earthquakes are not direct signals of an impending major eruption, but rather the crust's response to microfractures and the movement of hot fluids seeking new pathways over geologic timescales. This system acts as a relatively stable energy release mechanism. However, it still has the potential for major changes. Satellite and GPS measurements indicate that parts of the Yellowstone caldera experience significant uplift over time. However, experts emphasize that this pattern of ups and downs is not new. Yellowstone has been breathing like this for thousands of years. What makes the current situation particularly concerning is the rapidity of change and its connection to increased hydrothermal activity, including the eruption of Steamboat Geyser. Steamboat Geyser acts like a natural valve. Its eruptions occur when the pressure of superheated water and steam underground is suddenly released. An increase in the frequency of eruptions indicates a change in the hydrothermal system. This could be an increase in heat supply, a shift in underground waterways, or a change in pressure. Scientists emphasize that geyser activity does not necessarily mean magma is about to erupt. In fact, in some cases, the release of pressure through geysers and fumes can reduce the energy accumulated beneath the surface. 
In other words, Steamboat's roar could be a sign that the system is adjusting, not a sign of imminent collapse. Is the supervolcano about to collapse? The term collapse is often misunderstood. The Yellowstone supervolcano does not operate like a typical cone volcano, which explodes. The last major eruption occurred about 640,000 years ago. And scientists believe the likelihood of another supervolcano eruption in the near future is extremely low. Current seismic data, gas chemistry, and ground deformation data do not yet show patterns that typically precede major eruptions, such as a sustained increase in strong volcanic earthquakes or extreme chemical changes in volcanic gases. Activity remains within normal limits for a large-scale active volcanic system. The volcanic system, land uplift, magma movement, and the roar of steamboat geyser demonstrate that Yellowstone is a dynamic, living system, not a static, dead landscape. However, this dynamic does not automatically mean a major disaster is imminent. Instead, Close monitoring by scientists using satellites, seismic sensors, and chemical analysis is crucial for understanding and anticipating truly dangerous changes. Yellowstone may no longer be calm today, but nature does not always speak the language of destruction. In many cases, nature is simply adjusting its own balance. The greatest challenge for humans is not excessive fear, but understanding the science behind natural phenomena and distinguishing between real warnings and natural processes.